So guys, for the first step, we're gonna head over to search and type in task manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're gonna head over to the details tab and then you wanna find Riot Games or Valorant. So just scroll down and you might find it. I don't have it because I don't have Valorant installed in this computer, but once you find either Riot Games or Valorant, you wanna right click on it and then click on end process tree. For the next step, we're gonna head over to search and type in system configuration. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're gonna head over to the services tab. Once you're on it, we're gonna tick hide all Microsoft services. And then you wanna scroll down to the very bottom and look for VGC. Again, I don't have it because I haven't got Valorant installed in this computer, but find VGC and then make sure that is ticked. Once it's been ticked, you wanna click on okay. Once you click on okay, for the third step, we're gonna head over to search and type in services.msc and click on enter. Once you're on this, we're gonna click on any service and click on V on our keyboard, which will take us down and then you wanna look for VGC again. Once you find VGC, you wanna right click on it, click on properties, and then make sure that the startup type is on automatic and then click on start. Once you start it, click on okay. After you do these steps in the video, try to see if Valorant works, but if it still doesn't work, then we're going to head over to search and type in Android Mid Programs. Once you're on this, you want to look for either Valorant or Riot Games. You need to scroll down to find it probably. And then once you find it, you want to click on the three dots and then uninstall it. And then you want to reinstall it again and then the problem should be fixed.